The Army announced new changes to its tattoo policy, and today we're going to go over some key changes and what that means going forward. To help compete for top talent, the Army has updated its regulations for tattoos, cutting processing times for new recruits who have body art. The changes will also impact all active, National Guard, and Army Reserve soldiers currently serving. Secretary of the Army Christine E. Wormuth made the new policy official by signing the updated directive that allows recruits and current soldiers to receive tattoos on their hands, behind the ears, and the back of the necks. The Army will now allow soldiers to have one ring tattoo on each hand that does not exceed one inch in length. One tattoo between the fingers, as long as the designs cannot be seen when the fingers are joined. One tattoo no longer than two inches on the back of their neck, However, it cannot extend to the sides of the neck and cannot be visible from the side or the front. And lastly, one inch long tattoos behind each ear are now authorized. However, it cannot extend forward or below the earlobe. The Army will continue to prohibit tattoos on a soldier's face except for cosmetic purposes. However, some soldiers may file for an exception if they would like to receive a facial tattoo for religious reasons. According to the directive, tattoo designs must not contain any offensive, extremist, or hateful words or images. Company commanders perform annual inspections of tattoos to ensure they remain within Army regulations. Tattoos have grown in popularity among younger people. Training and Doctrine Command, as well as the U.S. Army Recruiting Command, recommended the changes to Army senior leaders. According to research conducted by TRADOC, 41% of 18 to 34 year olds have at least one or more tattoo. Through May 2022, Army recruiters have filed more than 650 tattoo related waivers for active duty and reserve recruits. These changes will allow individuals who meet all other qualifications for appointment or enlistment the opportunity to serve or to continue to serve. This policy revision will eliminate the need for waivers for recruiting applicants with tattoos in the specific areas described, and serve to reduce applicant processing time due to waivers. It may also reduce the risk of recruiters declining to process applicants with tattoos in these specific areas. The Army relaxed tattoo restrictions in 2015 when the service updated Army Regulation 670-1 to remove limits on the number of tattoos soldiers could have on legs and arms, granting more freedom for individual expression. Thank you for watching this video. For more content from the U.S. Army, check out our next video and subscribe to our channel.